Okay, this is uh, slow fried potatoes with thyme, uh, red onions, and garlic, uh, and later on we're going to put in some taleggio cheese. Um, it's a very very simple dish. Uh, all you do to uh, to start off with is you you uh, slice the potatoes very thin. Uh, slice uh, one red onion, very very thin. You want about uh, 50 grams of butter, uh, two tablespoons of olive oil into the frying pan. Uh, on a low heat, let it melt. Then you put in the red onions, and you maybe about five ten minutes um, that the red onions will start to soften, go a tiny bit brown. It's lovely. Then put in your uh, your sliced potatoes. Uh, waxy potatoes are the best, but any potato really will do. Um, smaller ones are better. Um, put two cloves of garlic in, thinly sliced. Some fresh thyme if you've got it, otherwise dried thyme will be fine. Uh, just as good smattering of sprinkle. Bit of salt, sea salt preferably. Bit of black pepper. Uh, and then pop it on the... Uh, sort of stir it round so it's all nice and... All the, all the flavours, all the herbs are all sort of you know, going into the potatoes, that's what you want to do. And then uh, that's going to, you want to put on as low a heat as possible, put a lid on the top. And we're we'll, going to leave that for about 40 minutes, okay? And after about 40, 45 minutes, the potatoes are nice and soft, you're going to put in some of this. Okay, so nice taleggio uh, from Italy, it's a lovely melting cheese. Uh, you need about mm, 100 grams uh, um, thinly sliced. I like it, so I'll probably, I'll probably put in more than 100 grams, but 100 grams is normally fine. I forgot to say, you probably need about 500 grams of potatoes. So, for the 500 grams of potatoes, the one red onion you're looking at, that's probably for two people as a, as a, a main course. Four people as a as a side. And uh, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm just sitting having a nice glass of a Malbec, nice Argentinian Malbec, and um, I'm uh, yeah basically just uh, going to let all this cook, and then once it's uh, all softened down, I've got to serve it with some uh, Nero. Uh, some uh, Camlo Nero, which is like a lovely sort of dark green cabbage. I'll show you it's in my fridge somewhere. It's waiting somewhere. I know it's under the fridge. So I think it's in here. Yeah, this is maybe. Okay, so we've got some lovely Camlo Nero here. This is a um, really nice. Some people call it black kale. Let me just open this up. Okay, that's it there. Some people call it black kale. Italians call it uh, cavolo nero. It's a really, really gorgeous, gorgeous uh, cabbage leaf. And I'm just going to just uh, skim that sort of very, very. Uh, very very uh, thinly and I'll just pan fry it a little olive oil and butter and then we'll sprinkle on some balsamic and got a really nice over here, really nice aged nine years in a barrel aged balsamic which uh, I'm going to sprinkle over it last minute and uh, that should be really tasty I'm going to serve it, I think I'll probably do some sausages with it uh, yeah, probably some sausages. We're just going to bake in the oven. And I think I'm going to bake them in slowly in the oven for about 30 minutes. Maybe for the last 5 or 10 minutes I'm going to sprinkle with some tamarind, tamarind sauce. It's a, it's a lovely sort of nice spicy glaze. Um, so that with the Telegia cheese, the Kirtanero Davolo should be really tasty. So hopefully that's... Uh, Anyway, if you like it, you can go on um, my blog, which is ilovealfredos.com, 
and uh, on ilovealfredos.com there's lots of recipes there this one is certainly on there um, lots of other ideas um, anyway I hope you like it I hope you try it and uh, do it again I'll probably come back later and show you when uh, I'm adding the telegio just to give you an idea of what it looks like then okay cheers for now